Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today we've got very good news, and we've got kind of weird news coming in as well. But let's start off with the good news, and that is that we've got a new secret rare that has gone to be revealed from Raging Surf. We've got full art Larry. I like Larry, and I'm pretty sure, like everyone who played Scarlet and Violet liked Larry. And I don't think it's a spoiler at this stage. When he comes back in the Elite Four as a different type of trainer, come on, it's been seriously long enough at this point. The DLC is out now. That we will not be spoiling. Everyone's happy because Larry's back and now Larry is a different kind of trainer. Why? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, but I kind of love it. Tired dude, working double duty as a Pokemon League leader and a Pokemon Elite Four member. That's just cool. But now we got the full art version of Larry. Now, very important to note, we are talking full art Larry here. We are not talking special illustration rare Larry. Is there a special illustration rare Larry? I don't know. Maybe. I hope so because that would be amazing. But if you look at the rarity symbol here, we've got an SR for secret rare, which is your full art, not an SIR for special illustration rare, which is, or SAR actually it would be, because they're special art rares over in Japan. That would be awesome. That's not what we've got, ladies and gentlemen. That is not what we've got here. But that's not the point. The point is we've got a full art, it's Larry in his restaurant, and this just looks awesome. Big, big fan. What does Larry actually do remember as a supporter card? Well, we've got flip a coin. If head, search your deck for two Pokemon and put them into your hand. If tail, search your deck for one basic Pokemon and put it into your hand. And basically, this is one of those where if you flip heads, it's, it's really good. Because going and searching for any Pokemon whatsoever is clearly a good thing. But if you go and flip tails and, you know, without sounding too obvious, half the time you're going to flip tails, well then at that stage it, it's just not as good, is it? Because now all of a sudden you've just used a supporter card to search for a basic Pokemon. That, that's not ideal, ladies and gentlemen. That is not ideal at all. So it is another one of those fairly obvious ones whereby if you flip heads, yay. If you flip tails, this is kind of rubbish. And then, of course, with those kind of cards, the question is, is the heads worth it? If you go and flip heads with this, are you going to get enough value out of this card? Searching for any two Pokemon, I mean, it's not bad, to be fair. Remember that a while ago when we had a spec cards doing the rounds, we had Master Ball, and Master Ball was just a straight search any Pokemon, and that was a once per deck a spec card. This is search any two, and it's just, you know, no downside, no discarding cards from your hand, no, can only be used on your first turn of the game, no, no, nothing like that. Searching any two Pokemon is actually really, really very good, but you still need to draw a bunch of cards when you play a supporter card, and you're still only grabbing one basic on a Tails, and I just... I want this to be very, 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 very good. I am worried and concerned that this might actually not end up being good enough because yes, it's really good on a heads, but you're not always gonna flip a heads. And is it good enough on a heads? I worry, ladies and gentlemen, I worry. Is there going to be a special illustration rare? I hope so. I can't tell you one way or the other right now, but I am personally rooting for it because I like Larry like I know a lot of you like Larry and it would be awesome. Obviously, for those of you that are wondering, yes, this will be in Paradox Rift. I suppose there is a very, very, very small chance it gets taken out of Paradox Rift and used somewhere else. You know, until it's actually revealed for Paradox Rift, we can't say that for 100% certainty. But come on, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be in Paradox Rift. It's going to be in Raging Surf over in Japan. And it's going to be in Paradox Rift over here. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Larry's coming. And this is awesome. 
But it is not the only thing that is actually going on in the world of Pokemon today. Something else that we can have a little bit of a look at is a weird new logo for the Pokemon TCG. Yeah, but that's not the only weird thing. You see, over in Indonesia, we've got this weird thing going on where they've gone and actually made a new logo. It's Pikachu in front of a Pokeball. Which is weird, ladies and gentlemen. It's very, very weird. But that is not the only weird thing which is going on. Because this is actually being used in a new set, which is basically mashing up, well, Ruler of the Black Flame, what we call Obsidian Flames, and Raging Surfing. If you have a look in the booster pack here, right in the middle, we've got ourselves the Terrastal Charizard, the Darkness type from Obsidian Flames. And then you've also got the Terrastal Garchomp, the water type, from Raging Surf. That is weird. That is a little bit strange, ladies and gentlemen, because up until now, if memory serves correctly, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, do correct me if I'm wrong about this, but up until now, we, we've seen a pretty straightforward thing where Pokemon have been following. Like, over in Indonesia... Pokemon have just been doing their thing. They've been ticking along quite nicely following the Japanese sets. That's my understanding anyway. And now all of a sudden, rather than doing that, they're going to be bringing in this new set, which is a combination of two Japanese sets. That is weird. From what I understand, Thailand is still following along with Japan quite nicely. But now we've just moved away. I say we... Indonesia have gone and moved away, and they've got their own set, which is a little bit strange. Kind of cool. One of the cool things about Indonesia, for those of you that are unaware, even though it's an Asian territory, it's a Pokemon company, rather than Pokemon Company International territory, they still have English language cards, kind of. So if we have a look at, I mean, Charizard, obviously, you'll notice we've got Charizard EX written in English, We've got Burning Dark written in English. But then we've got, well, we've got the Indonesian language coming in, filling in the rest of it, but with English characters, which is still weird because most of the TPCI regions, you know, you've got Japanese languages, the two Chinese languages, we've got Korean, which are obviously very, very different. It's a little bit strange. It is a little bit strange. We've got a similar thing. You know, we can have a look at Goldengo, which, of course, we know is going to be in the set, or Garchomp, which is the other kind of mascot of the set. It is all a little bit strange. And then, of course, we've got this new logo, which is very weird. Like, if you have a look, in the top left-hand corner of the pack, it just says Scarlet and Violet. But it, it's not necessarily the Scarlet and Violet logo we would expect. I say not necessarily... Let me rephrase. It is not the Scarlet and Violet logo we would expect. This is not the Scarlet and Violet TCG logo, at least as we've seen it for a long time now. It's very, very different. And then in the top right-hand corner, we've got this new Pokemon card symbol featuring Pikachu, and that alone is very, very weird. I don't know why Indonesia have turned around and just gone, you know what we need? A logo which is different from all of the other territories. It is strange that this is happening, but I kind of love this, ladies and gentlemen. I do kind of love this. This is weird and unique and strange. And the fact that they've got these two sets that are going and being mashed into one set is also very, very weird. I've not seen that in any other territory whatsoever. You've got the main set, Ruler of the Black Flame, the mini set, Raging Surf, and all of a sudden we just kind of mash these together into one. That's strange, but kind of cool. You've got Pidgeot coming in the same set as Goldengo. You've got Charizard coming in the same set as Garchomp. And honestly, I kind of want to pick some of these up. Just for weird collector purposes, I do want to go and grab some of these because this is the kind of thing I can get excited about. So yeah, it's weird, but it's happening. We've got ourselves a lovely Full Art Larry, which is a card I very much want to pick up. And over in Indonesia, they are doing something very strange with their sets, and this is also very, very cool. 
But now I want to know what you think. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your opinions. I want to know anything you want to tell me. So let me know in the comment section. Good us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at Lawasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games. All kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always. Look after yourself till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching. PTCG Radio.